Uh, System B4 says, I'm trying to get into OS kernel dev. You have any experience or tips? Uh, you know, j just how I got into compilers. Um, uh, I, I used to... Uh... Oh, Ankit says, uh, catch you next time. Uh, bye, Ankit. See ya. Uh, yeah, so for OS and kernel dev... Um, Oh man, it's been so long. Uh, you can you can go on a uh, osdev.org. Uh, it better not be bright. Okay, uh, osdev.org is great, but it's quite dated. Os.org is very dated. Um. Oh man, I used to, I used to want to create my own operating system. This was this was a long time ago. I'm gonna be honest. You're in for a lot. Uh, you're in for a lot. Uh, especially especially reading like. The UEFI specification and the x86 specification. It's not fun. Um, but my best advice to you is uh, read read other people's code, right? Because pe people put their um. Uh, the th the thing is with old standards, forty year old forty year old standards, things like uh things like the BIOS standard or like x86. The thing is with forty year old standards is that they're forty years old. They don't change, right? So projects from uh, well, not forty years old. It's super old. Uh, Pro projects projects that are made on standards of the decades old you can just read their code and it's the same stuff right so my, my best my best advice to you is to go online and just look at other people's code look at other people's code uh written in c because uh uh it's very very easy to just see that the flow uh you know it just uh, makes a lot of sense also a good thing is to learn how uh you know i mean how does a modern kernel work? So there's scheduling, there's memory management. So there's an MMU, it needs to do paging. How do pages work? How does MMAP work? How does physical memory work? What's virtual memory? Th things like that. Um, <clears throat> you have to have a huge array of knowledge for a kernel development. Uh, but the th it's, it's uh, you know, uh, hard work. Yeah, there's there's a reason why there's a reason why I moved away from kernel development and going to compilers. The thing is, is that I just don't want to read a, I don't want to read a thousand page document about the UEFI specification because it 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 like, that's not fun, right? It, it, it uh, uh, you know you know um what's uh Lemine uh is it Lemine? Lemine bootloader. This is uh this is great as well. Uh, the Lemine bootloader. This is uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. But uh, L M L I M I N E bootloader. This is what I use for one of my operating systems, or one of my old ones that I made. Um, another another good resource. I don't know if you're. Uh, does it, I don't I don't know like what language you're using. Uh, is it V O S? Here, V O S bare bones. So this is this is um this is me using V, uh V with the C's thing and Lemine. Um, the Lemine bootloader, just so I can get a, uh, just so I can get, uh, just some code running. So, in V, you'd like, uh, uh, anyway, uh, short story, uh, there's lots of things online that can help you. Specifically the, um, th this is a great bootloader to start with. You can just write the code and interface with it, and it would fill in all the requests, like your request for the clock, your request for the CPUs, your request for the, the amount of CPUs. Um, that's what a bootloader is for. And Lemine is a pretty great bootloader. I don't think you want to deal with a multi-boot specification. You know, it gets messy. So, you know, uh, Lemine throws you into a 64-bit protected mode. Uh, uh, it's good to start. It's good to start off. Uh, 